Good evening, this is Dan D here. Today I have another public first, the Capital Industries Magnetic Cam Lock. Here's the key. <coughs> Just set this up. That works nicely. A little bit fiddly, I just have these blocks here just to, so the cam isn't obstructed. Cam helps show that it's turned, of course. That's locks now. Okay, I made this little tensioner, which is a 3D printed thing. Hopefully, we can get this picked. Um, and I have a magnet on a stick, which will do the picking. Now, I have already recorded this, but I realized to gut it, it has to be in the picked position. So, let's see how we go here. There we go. Hmm, it's a much better time than I had before. Okay. As you can see, that's clearly picked. And I'm going to leave it picked because we do want to gut this. So, just carefully, so we don't drop these core holders on the ground like I did last time. That was a bit loud. Never hurts to do a second take. So I'll just put that there. Guess I did just throw that on the floor. Nowhere else to put it at the moment. So here's a little card by the way that shows the bitting. It's kind of cute. Alright. Now make sure we keep our orientation here. Um, what are we doing? So yeah, that would have to be the top, because the flats are on the side of course. So we'll just take off the cam hardware. Thank you very much. Okay, let's have a look what's inside. Hopefully that's going to come out for us. There we go. Now, with any luck, stuff isn't going to go flying. This is the first time I've ever got at this, so... I really hope this isn't going to go badly. Just... Make sure nothing's going to fly out. See that? The things like this. Okay, that wasn't good, but I think we can probably salvage the bits. I saw where everything went. I think that wasn't good. There's the main spring. Oh, the rotors will still be in this. Okay, I think we still have... I'll be honest, I'm not going to pretend that I know how this works. You can see there's the Bible. I'm glad I have this on film because just in case I can't find the other parts, there's a rubber ring. Uh, there is... Let's see if 
tweezers, get these pins, it's this device, I believe the spring fits onto the, now, did we lose anything I think we might have, possibly lost something. Hmm, there's only two holes there. So only two things can have actually come out. Oh wait, yes. Nope, it is just the two. That's right. Okie dokie. Okay, this can't be gutted, I don't think. I believe that's been press fit. What's this here? Hmm. Looks like you might be able to get that after all. If you bear with me. Just want to see. Need... Turn this back on again. This bad boy. Just want Google Window. Just want yes, I am Googling how this thing works in front of you. Oh, terrific. I have not lost any parts. Good stuff. In fact, there is a diagram of the lock. You can see those two pins, the plunger, the spring. The rotors are inside that thing. That larger thing. Now, if you're lucky, I can actually gut that. I just need the right size wrench. By the look of things. So if I can just find the correct wrench, we're in business. I may have just found it. Okay. Let's come back over here. Light source, okay. Yes. Okay. There's this scrub screw. Now let's hope nothing goes flying this time. Having a look at this, those rotors maybe have a spring. So just gotta be really careful. Okay. Nope, this looks like it's just the gates, so that's just the plug sort of thing, I guess you could call it. And there's our rotors. Um, if these come flying out, I'm not going to be happy, but no, they're not going to do that. There we go. When you turn them all to the correct position, come on. Just turn okay. So they're biased against doing that. But when you turn them all to the correct position in the middle, those little gates line up and the plunger can push into them. Okay, I am going I will take them out. I'm just gonna try and make sure I remember the orientation. So with the X bolt at the top.
This one is top left. This one is top right. And this one is bottom. You can see in there there's not a lot going on, it's just the chambers. Now let's see if we can get a good look at those rotors. Okay. So they clearly have some kind of thing going on here where they stay off balance. I'm just going to... There we go. Hopefully you can see that a bit better. That's what they look like. Stupid thing. We all have that going on. And these of course have a magnet inside them. Which responds to the key. Okay, just give you a little close up of the stuff. Pins, plunger, there's the spring. It's a fairly strong spring. There's the plugs. Rotors, there's the housing again. All right, uh, and there's the keys. Now, with any luck, I can get this back together off camera, of course. And yes, that's the Capital Industries M Series magnetic cam lock, and that's a public first. Thanks for watching.